Right, what's going on YouTube? Today we got chapter 1088, the final lesson. It has been a long time. I haven't posted in like, I think like a month or two, but we are finally back. So let's get right into the chapter. So we start off with a flashback of Marine HQ and we see a young Kobe and a young Helmepo and they are being trained by Garp and they are learning an important lesson to safeguard the lives of the future ahead of the lives of the old, which means save the young before you save the old people, right? Garp teaches that basically if you have a ship that can only hold two people and you have to save a baby or old man, save the baby instead of the old man because the old man has already lived his life. And obviously he was told not to teach that anymore, even though it's kind of an important lesson, I think. As Garp says, the potential of youth is limitless. Right now, another flashback we get at Amazon Lily, we see Kobe with Blackbeard. Now, this is the missing part of the, uh, I think, chapter 1059, when Blackbeard came to Amazon Lily. At the end of that chapter, we did find out that Kobe became a prisoner, but we did not know how. So, Kobe gave himself over as a sword member to Blackbeard, who would be more valuable than the 800 Marines he captured. Kobe would be, you know, basically sacrificing himself just to go with Blackbeard and save those Marines, making Kobe a hero. And we also don't know what happened at the Rocky Port incident, but I'm assuming it's something similar to this. All right, now we are in the present day looking at Hachinosu and we see Pizarro combining himself with the entire island so basically this guy is like Pika but like on crack but honestly I guess they're kind of like the same thing except he can merge with the entire island whereas Pika can only merge with stone so that does give him an advantage as Pizarro lands his giant hand to smash down all the marines Garp tells Kobe to jump up and destroy the hand to bits right so obviously Garp believes in Kobe a lot more than the fans do because a lot of fans still see Kobe as like the same person he was in the East blue and honestly i don't blame them because we haven't had much screen time but me personally i think kobe is clearly being set up to be one of luffy's rivals probably near the end of the story in the last chapter in 1087 we did see garb get attacked by all the blackbeard pirates and he was also stabbed by shiryu garb gets up and he calls it just a scratch and he manages to blitz akiji right so for the people saying akiji and garb are or akiji's way stronger than garb it's really just not true even while fighting multiple people having multiple different injuries from akiji and other pirates garb is still able to keep up with akiji and even blitz him at this point in time right moving on we see garb heading straight for the top of hachinosu and he smashes it in half calling a galaxy divide where he basically just smashes the entire skull right in half and puzaro actually takes damage from that and you can see his actual skull taking a huge amount of damage right now the reason this is important is because this is going to be very similar to what kobe is about to do when it comes to kobe he sees garb do this and he tries to emulate it as he jumps up we get a flashback of him and garb training we learn that kobe had zero aptitude for combat so he had to work 200 times more more to get the same results as the other marines right so even after his special training regiment with the garp he was going out to sneak more training in and he was also using the battleship bags just like akiji and garp right so for a lot of people they looked at akiji using the battleship bags and they like to wank him but when it comes to kobe people like still kind of want to downplay him i don't see the point uh i think it's pretty obvious kobe's being set up to be insanely powerful he just doesn't have enough screen time for us to see it right now as kobe jumps up to destroy the hand we see something that we have not seen in a long time in fact if i put these two panels together i want you guys to tell me what's happening because if i tell people that kobe is advanced conquerors hockey people will tell me i'm crazy but when i put these two panels together i can't help but notice they're the same exact panel so someone tell me what i'm looking at because it looks like advanced conquerors hockey right but a lot obviously some people don't agree with that but in my honest opinion kobe is using advanced conquerors hockey just like garb which is why the attack is also similar to garb's called honesty impact right obviously this is a reflection of kobe's character because he's a super honest person right as he comes down he basically is like out of energy and that was really just one attack and he doesn't even really believe that he did it right so this is power he didn't know was known to him so we can obviously see this is a hockey bloom right now the reason i say it's conquerors hockey is because when it comes to arm and hockey we don't usually see black lightning um sometimes we have but for the most part we don't right um and we've never seen it with kobe right now as the chapter ends we see kobe and sword members getting ready to leave and garp tells them to sail away and leave him there and he tells them to never forget you are all the future of the marines and we see garp surrounded by a bunch of blackbeard pirates you know basically getting ready to be killed and we also actually get a mention of egg head towards the end of the chapter in the following day's paper the legendary hero vice admiral garb would be declared missing in action on pirate island after the successful rescue of the young hero captain kobe would also gain the world's attention the egghead incident where emperor straw hat luffy would face a siege on the island of the future so now we know that they are basically getting ready to fight and i think in the next chapter we will probably see that happening so i'm excited to see the admirals and the gorsei actually fight it's actually been good though for the last couple of chapters we've been getting a lot of marine action admiral stocks are up kobe stocks are up gorsei say stocks are up god's night stocks are up but anyways that's all we got for today's chapter i want you guys to leave a comment down below let me know what your favorite part of the chapter was and i'll catch you guys in the next chapter peace